Hey guys, it's Tornado Boy One here. Today we are doing something I usually didn't, never done. Um, how to keep your Pokemon cards neat and organized. I know it doesn't look that organized because I didn't have time to do it for the video. So basically, let's just start here. Well, if you have like these kind of shelves, you keep like your Pokeball stuff at the top. You know, these are the cameraman. These are the cameraman's um. PSA cards, and actually my cameraman is Lover for Nature Girl. I'm right here. Hi. You can't, you can't, you can't see, see me, but you can hear me. So in here, I keep. I actually keep my Hidden Fate sleeves inside um a separate deck box. Cause they're they're very pretty. Now, these two binders and some jumbo cards. So we all know this right here is. Um, Mine. That's that's her binder. Let's see what she's got, guys. So looks like she just missing the one evolution. Leafeon. Leafeon. Whole Detective Pikachu set. Perfect. Perfect. And perfect. Okay. So, so, so they got a bunch of like Japanese cards and stuff. Hollow. I'm so jealous. I, I'm, I'm sorry because it's my favorite. I wish I got that. <laughs> The, the, these two were originally mine, but I traded it for that Charizard. We don't know. We don't know who pulled the Rainbow Rare Charizard. We just pretend it never happened. Like, no, seriously, we did a, a rock paper scissors for it. That, that's really dumb. We pretend it never happened. No, like, okay, that's here. That's really dumb. Yeah. Hollows, ancient traits, five break cards. Eh. That don't worry. Look at all these EXs though. Rescue and Banette. The Gandal from the actual set. Some Megas. You got, look at these tag teams. Look at these tag teams. Blaster's most common GX ever. Mm -hmm. N. Hey, N. The worst full art trader card I've ever seen. Sick, but in bad condition. A whole page of full arts. Beast Bringer. And look at these rainbows. She has seven rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was the Mewtwo. Actually, I think this Espeon might be worth something. You might want to put that in the top loader. This is um, the, the counter energy from the Flip It or Rip It that we did. I did not throw it out, guys. Like, okay, I'll show you guys what happened. I'm gonna put my finger in front of the camera and then she'll stop. This is what happened. Haunter. This point. No! We ripped a counter energy secret rare. Best case scenario, I didn't rip it fully. I might just keep this. Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at my binder. This is gonna be a long video, guys. Just get com get comfortable. I keep all my I keep my old grass energy. Look at that. Flying Z on um, reverse card. Chandelure. I got some Detective Pikachu. I just have a bunch of I got three magic herb guys. Charizard. Both I got the movie promo. Both, I got Mewtwo, Latios, all the Necrozmas except for regular Necrozma. I don't even think that comes in a promo. Look at that beautiful Hollow Moltres. Look at that Porygon Z. Two, three on the sleeves. Yep, I said on the sleeve, guys. Look at those. I upgraded the Electros to a Hollow card. Both the birds. No Moltres, though. No darn Moltres. Shining Mew, Shining Ho Oh, I. Trade my shining Lugia, kind of stupid for doing it, but I got my shining Selby. Master Ball, this should have been like a full restore or something. Ente, Secret Rare. Look at that whole page of break cards. Hydreigon Break is the greedy, the greedy Pokemon of this page. It should have been all the X's. 
Moultrie's ES is in here because I have one, but I'm not going to be grading mine. Three, you guys see this? Three Venusaurs in one row, all different ones. And before you say I'm a water Pokemon lover, don't say that because seriously, I don't see a lot of water, but come on. I want one of the GXs. Tapu Lele, fortunately not worth a lot of money in the Japanese or that one I had. Look at that, Team Flare Grunt. Got all these full arts Glaceon. Shaman's worth, it used to be, I don't know why I'm seeing like $14 now. It's pretty crappy. Apparently, this, I know this Lily is $75. And you're probably wondering why is it in the binder? Because it's not, I don't think it's in good enough condition. By the way, if Lily were to go, go against Blaine, Blaine would just wreck her. Actually, she, he, he would wreck Ace Rolla as well. Uh, Zerka Tree Necrozma. Keep moving here. You got Lapras, GX, Fuller. All these Megas are pretty cool. Secret Rares. These are in really bad condition. I seem like they've been aged so hard. A lot of Rainbow Rares. I only have eight in the binder, though. There's a lot of Fuller Megas. The Fuller Mega Charge is not in good enough condition, I'm, I'm going to be assuming. Oh, and we got Sh Shining Shuppet is still here because he's not worth enough. Okay, now we're going to go over the jumble cards, these things, and over there. We have a, a Mewtwo pin. Let me zoom in on that thing. It's pointing poison counter. All of these. Porygon Z, my latest one. Charizard EX. Full Art Mega Lucario. Mega Rayquaza, Secret Rare. Primal Ground Up, my first jumble card. Charizard EX. Mega Metagross, Shiny. Mega Absol. Uh, Tyrantrum EX, Mega Blaziken, Mega Aerodactyl, Ashes Greninja, Mega Beedrill, Mega Salamence, Mega Sharpedo, Salamence, and White Curum GX, and Textured. And right there, wanna know, wanna tell us what those are? That's my PSA deck. Well, Possibly. If these were to get, these are the ones she wants to get graded. So, Shanks City Championships, Hollow Charizard um, for Boundaries Crossed. We've got a Shining Arceus. There is your Moltres EX. Yep. Charizard GX. Uh, you guys, Pikachu Zekrom. Lusamine. I hate this card so much. She doesn't. I don't know what this is. What's that eye for? I don't supposed to be part of Naya Legal, but come on, man. Stuffle Toys R Us promo. It's a textured card, Pikachu Zachary promo card. There's uh, another Mega Charizard. Rainbow Rare Umbreon. And uh, her estimated most valuable card is this Mewtwo. Uh, Mew Mewtwo prototype from Shining Legends. Okay. Okay, guys, now we're going to be looking in this little compartment. There's a bunch of tins. We're not going to be going through them. Some of them have, like, old cards. Some of them have, like, codes. Some of them have regular cards. And here we have a bunch of, like, books and stuff. And barely it's a Pokemon and sticker sheets and notepads and st set lists. And plus, yep, she took the, the yellow. I don't care. It's fun. So this is just, like, it's a bunch of, like, silhouettes of Detective Pikachu. And this looks like something if it was in Smash 4. Like, seriously, it looks like Smash 4. Let me put this... Okay, and... Alright, so now we got all the binders for organization. This one is actually just full of the special cards that we're going to be collecting. Team, like these, secret rares. So yeah, we're gonna actually going to have to get more of those. Empty. My first, this is actually my first ever binder. This had, like, a... This is all, like, Team Plat... I mean, um, Platinum Arceus... It doesn't look much. So I get a bunch of comments on comments. So I get to this. To get to like, in the later pages. There's a hollow ho oh And a bunch of other things that you might notice. Like these reverses. A Zelf, Aaron, Porygon Z, Aerodactyl, Machamp level 64. That's just minor number two. Number three. Hey, which one do you want to do next? Which one? Okay. Blue. Checkered blue. Black. Checkered blue? Yep. Checkered blue. Probably my use most useful. This has all my holo cards. Or most of them. This is like all the holo cards that we have. This is, this is a lot of holo cards. Sun and Moon. Well, actually, not all. There's some like 
reverses, like favorite reverses, and some regular rares. I put all my evolutions. We're almost out of space. We're only six cards away from out. Okay, gray used to be evolutions in Kanto. But now it seems to be all reverses, which is actually, oh, we have quite a few reverses in here, mostly the stuff is in evolutions. This binder also is pretty empty. This is just going to be a bunch of ancient traits. And this blue binder is the last one I have. It has like all my Japanese cards. This is all from the Ultra Shiny set. The video couldn't have been uploaded. Got gone. Okay. Okay, so now there is a bunch of stuff in there, like some more books and some cards. But we can't see through all. There's like sleeves and top loaders in there too. But right here, we have more stuff. You guys already know what this is. This is just full of coins. It's pretty cool. Even the Zygarde's got a green back. That's pretty cool. So now, right here we have... Actually, we should put this in the... Planet Marcus will do this at the end of the video. Reverse Empoleon from Planet Marcus. Found that in a Walmart pack, I think. Or was that a Walmart mystery box? Or mystery pack? Two cards. Dark Charizard and Dark and Dark Gyarados. Don't worry, guys. These are just regular rares. Let's see even the price. Zoom in on the price. $5.99. I wonder what the holocard was. Nope, oh, we didn't see the holocard. Holocard's probably like a lot. Evolutions, um, you know, you know what this is, guys. It's a playmat. Two posters from the generations. And inside this uh, tin, the puzzle tin. More cards. These are the cards I think I actually pulled. No, these are not. These are like Primal Clash. From the Primal Clash booster box that I opened about a year ago. Okay. Okay, guys, so now, Alolan Sand Slash, I thought this looked like a shiny, but it's not, I'm sorry. Sleeve. Now, this is a deck of energies, a mini deck of energies. And here are some honorable mention PSA cards that could not get um, added because they are not valuable enough. Xerneas Break, Mel Metal from Unbroken Bonds, pre-release, and you got Nagandal GX Full Art, Me Meta uh, Lucario Mel Metal GX Full Art, um, non Full Art. Arceus Prism and Ultimate Cross and GX. So those have been forgotten. Okay, here we go, guys. You might want to zoom out on this one. These are my possible PSA cards. So, yep, this is my cheapest one, guys. Full Art Mega Blastoise. It's like eighteen fifty, I think. Oh, look at that shine. Ooh. Number two, Charizard GX from Detective Pikachu. This is like twenty dollars. Secret Rare Mega Manetric. Lola Ninetales GX from Ultra Shiny. Not in fates, guys. Full art. This is the real full art Lusamine. Pull that out of a pack. Reshiram also pulled that out of a pack. Yeah, this is actually from the opening that we did on Christmas. Charizard GX. I also have one too. So Secret Rare Mega Lucario. Shiny Zora, I, we thought it was 20, now it's 32. Rainbow Rare Gyarados, and yeah, guys, he's actually getting more and more valuable. Pikachu and Sacrum, and also um, Mewtwo and Mew, it's $40. Guys, you guys already know what this is. It's the Bird Trio. You remember this from the LA Trainer Box? It's, it's a beauty, man, it's a beauty. The top three over here, Secret Rare Ultra Ball. It's in decent conditions, like, I would say like an 8 or a 9, or an 8, maybe a 7. Rainbow Rare Mewtwo, and famous of all, we all know what this is, Reshizard. $400 card, guys. Okay. Okay, so, I know it looks, it's very messy in here, there's a bunch of top loaders and stuff, and cards, and controllers and stuff, so we're gonna go down. Down, we got these um really cool pack wrappers that I left, and uh, don't cut yet. Yeah, don't cut. Okay, come with me. Actually, yeah, cut, cut, cut. Okay, so now we got a bunch of um booster boxes and deck boxes full of cards. Now I want to bring them to the other couch because we're gonna we're gonna do them one by one. Forbidden light. You guys remember the booster box opening? 
It's rem it's remnants of the of the booster box over here. Okay, the second one is evolutions. I've opened like five of these. And it's actually full of evolutions and a bunch of other cards. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. How did that get in there? Cool. Cool. Put that over there. Okay. We got two H and Origins booster boxes. This one's actually full of H and Origins cards. And this right here is actually full of Sun and Moon trainer cards. Primal Clash. I think this actually has actually has some XY cards in here from like XY base set and stuff. There's a ground on. A reverse blaze again. We're gonna put all these in binders sooner or later. Okay. Burning Shadows. This actually has it's full of Burning Shadows cards. Last of the booster boxes is his Unbroken Bonds. This is actually the one where he pulled the full art uh, Rainbow Red Reshizard out of the. This is the first booster box. And we still have a bunch of remnants from the opening that we did. Okay. Yes, guys, you have the three deck boxes in a form of a traffic light. So obviously green one is the softest. It's like not the best. This one is actually just full of black and white um, commons, uncommons, and rares. And don't cut, don't cut, don't cut. This is actually full of um, unbroken bonds. It's a deck box. It actually has other cards in it too. And this deck box is actually the biggest one. Base set. Lieutenant Surge's Met. Okay, okay, let's do them. Hollow, uh, Misty Tentacruel. Only ones I'm going to show you are hollows. Magnet, Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Hollow Electrode. And every bird. So, I know I've been at telling you guys about all the cards that I did, but. That's how I organize my cards. You guys organize your cards in like many other ways, and I can tell, but we're still not done. We have one more bottom. We have another. We have two more deck boxes right here. This one is actually for all my hidden fates cards. From commons to hollow to hollow cards. We got hollow grass energy, hollow dark energy. Really tough GX. Full Art Jesse and James. Shiny Magnemite. Shiny Scyther. Shiny Zora. Yes, I got the Glaceon back. And Shiny Decidueye. And this gray one, there's actually a, a lot of um, damage counters. Oops. I forgot my damage counters were in here. And this is actually just a bunch of um, Sun and Moon. I keep more Sun and Moon. Yeah, they're right there, guys. It's all paper. Hey, guys, look. You want $100? Wait, hold on. Is there any 50s in here? Let's see if I want any $50. Yay, I did. Yay. Oh, drop blood. There we go. Money. It's money. They're chips. They're chip money. Oops. Poi -po. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the last of the Pokemon cards we got in here so in here is energy cards keep them sealed one is dark one's water mini binder don't know what we're gonna use it for yet this is i'm not gonna open it guys it's seriously so annoying there's just like tons of energies in here oh show you the binder binder wants a second in here we got um more cards just cards and a little bit of sleeves there's a, a divider in there there's even a pokeball fidget spinner keep more cards because they're just storage yeah, there is the Ultra Shiny Booster Box that I did not get to do the video. But in here, there is tons and tons and tons of pack wrappers that I keep for no reason. But have a good collection, right? Mm -hmm. Hidden Fates. This is from the Ellie Trainer Box. There's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Like, I took up the dice, DX Tag Team, Dividers. There's a code in there. The code is for, I think, for the, it's for the Trainer Box. And the last thing is in here, um, guys. Uh, uh, so we take a look inside, and oh wow, wow! We got more of these pack wrappers, more of these dividers, more of more cards. I'm, guys, these are just common and stuff. There's even a card list in there. Put huh. these back in here. Okay, cut. 
Okay, guys, so that's the end of the video. Don't worry about that light. It's not my halo or something. So, basically, that's the end of the video, guys. So, you know, like, before we go over the, everything, we're going to, like, tell you what's most recommended to do with your cards. So, here we go. Common cards, usually, you should go for, like, um, in, like, a box. You know, like, just your big cardboard boxes. You have lots of them. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Same with uncommons and regular rares. Well, regular rares you may be keeping a binder, but seriously. Your reverse your reverse cards, I would keep them in a binder because, you know, if you have like 500 of them, you could probably make some money off of that because they are pretty valuable. They're like a quarter each or maybe even less sometimes, but it's okay, guys. Like You can get some money from that. Your holo cards, you should definitely keep them in a binder or in a deck box because you don't want those lying around. Now, your prisms and breaks and all your ultra rares and stuff, you should put them in your like in a safe binder or a deck box or at least in sleeves or top loaders. But there is one more. Um, with your valuable cards, like say you pull a full art Reshizard, non-rainbow rare, that's still worth like $100. You should definitely put that in a top loader and see if you can get it graded because that would be worth a lot of money. So apparently, if you got like a shiny Charizard from... Hidden Fates, 600 bucks just for the card. But if you get it graded, who knows how much it can go. It can go for a lot. Um, okay, if you guys have a Plasma Storm Shiny Charizard, please go get it graded. If you get like a 10, I'm seeing like 9s for like $600. Imagine what a 10 is. Like a couple, maybe 5,000. It's crazy, guys. So, okay, guys, that's the end of the video. So, if you guys like the video, please like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Part of, be part of the Tornado Squad, and um, comment on the video, see how, did you guys like it, did you guys hate it, <laughs> or did you guys like think it was okay, you know, turn on the post notifications, you don't miss a video, the little bell, and um, do the same for a Lover for Nature Girl, and um, you know, you guys can follow me on Instagram, follow her on Instagram, her name, Noth it's the same as you her YouTube name, except nothing, no capitals. And no spaces. Mine is Tornado Boy 1001. I leave it in the comments. I will leave it in the description. And sometimes I'll leave it in the comments. But usually I'm, I'm going to leave it in the description. And yeah, then I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.